They say that a hero is not born, but is made. That superpowers are not what defines him, but rather the courage that lies within. They say that only those who refuse to surrender can be blessed with the gifts of the gods, and that the capacity to help others is granted to those willing. I guess they were right. I was not born gloriously with the world eagerly waiting, but instead conceived as an accident and brought into this world unremarkably at the local hospital. I grew up awkwardly and alone, unintelligent and uninspired, with few friends and even fewer memories, isolated by the unnerving itch that somehow I was meant for something greater. And so, like a caterpillar expecting its metamorphosis, I waited faithfully for that moment when I would be reborn. Today is my second birthday. Today is the day I was given the chance to prove myself to the world. With my newfound abilities, I will protect the innocent citizens of my small town, and I will grow as I attempt to fully understand my power. My name is Ethan Supon, and I am a hero. This is how I spent the majority of my time. No plans and wasting my life on countless hours of black ops. The first thing I ever learned about summer was that when school was over, so were all the fake friendships. So here I am, slowly deteriorating my eyes and setting my hands up for carpal tunnel, so that by the time I hit 50, I won't just be lonely, but blind and crippled too. Whoa. Could it be? Have my thousands of prayers to God been finally answered? And rightfully so, given the fact that I've been an absolute angel lately. Then that means those countless hours of reading comics instead of doing homework were in a waste of time after all. In your face, Mom. And that means I could join the big leagues along with Spidey and Batman and Superman and Thor and Captain America and Flash. But I'm missing something. Every hero needs a costume. Spontaneous random powers, fine by me. Bingo.
Listen, lady, just give us the cash if you don't want to get hurt. Yeah, you don't want to get hurt. If you don't, you have to give us something else. <laughs> <laughs> I promise I won't hurt you. I'll be gentle. You will be gentle. Is there a problem here? <laughs> oh shit! It's Towel Boy! Towel Bitch! Say man, let's get out of here before he does something to us! <laughs> hey, but seriously, let's shoot this fucker! What the fuck? What are you guys looking at? It's freaking man. Oh. It's like came out of nowhere. Hey, get the fuck back, man. I ain't got no problem shooting you. Ain't no freak taking me down. Are you sure you want to do this? Where the fuck did Jimmy go? How the hell should I know? Away and fight like a real man. Alright, after I fuck you up, I'll fuck your bitch too! Thank you for saving my life. How can I ever repay you? It's my duty to keep citizens safe. Will I ever see you again? I'll be around. I wonder.
What defines a hero? The various superhuman feats they accomplish? The countless lives that they have saved? Or is it their unmarred sense of justice which places them above all others? In the end, who or what ultimately decides who gets a chance and who doesn't? Since the beginning of time, man has dwelled on the notion of becoming greater. Immortality is what has eluded our grasp and, consequently, what has become our greatest endeavor. From birth, we are given the innate animalistic instinct to survive, to strive, to flourish. And who better than us to determine what we are truly capable of? Ironically, the human spirit is boundless when it comes to superhuman qualities. It grants us the beauty of creativity, the passion to help others, and the ability to endure. Most of the time, however, we are hindered by the cocoon of naivete, built upon the norms of our own society. We are taught to dream, but to never dream too big. And in turn, we never truly understand our own potential. But today, I have broken through that shell, shattered it to pieces, and become a stronger person because of it. What defines a hero? The various moments of happiness and joy, the sadness and the sorrow, and the experiences we have taken from life. Even at a time in a world where darkness seems to engulf our lives, we must never forget that miracles do happen, and that there is a hero in all of us. Is it possible to soar through the skies with the clouds below me? Then again, men were never truly meant to fly. Air up here is fresh and pure, and why shouldn't it be? It is the same the angels breathe. But I understand that I don't belong in this world, so this is my final leap of faith. Either way, I'll have no regrets. Today is the single best day of my entire life.